Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. 41st meeting of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. On 15 September, the closing ceremony of the 2024 Western Armenia Archery Championship was held. I hope that the exhibition will have many visitors. The conference addresses the genocidal processes that took place from Western Armenia to Artsakh, Hovik Avanesov. The second annual CARE Family Lecture will be held at USLA. A musical evening dedicated to Artsakh and Armenians to Artsakh took place in Brussels. The eighth international music festival, Armenia, has started. On 16 September, the 41st session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. During the session, Ms. Didia Margosian, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, welcomed the attendees and spoke about the event dedicated to Gades Anahid, which was organized at a high level. Ms. President noted the importance of the event and presented important speeches. At the start of the evening, Armena Gabrihamian, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, made an opening speech. Mr. President emphasized the influence of the worship of Goddess Anahid in the territory of Western Armenia until the present day and especially emphasized the importance of holy well springs for the Armenian living in those areas. In her speech, Ms. Marcos Jan emphasized that the representatives of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia living in different countries participated in the conference dedicated to Goddess Anahid. She emphasized that this conference is an important platform for informing the international community about Armenian heritage. In 2024, on 15 September, the closing ceremony of the Archery Championship of Western Armenia took place. Participants from different regions and communities attended the ceremony and demonstrated their abilities and training in this traditional sport. The President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrihamian, honored the participants with prizes and medals. In his concluding speech, Mr. President highlighted the role of this event in preserving and developing the culture and sport heritage of Western Armenia. He noted as well that the Archery Championship not only provides an opportunity to demonstrate our national sport skill, but also contributes to the unification of Armenians and supports the transfer of national values to new generations. According to him, this event proves that our heritage traditions and roots are always alive and continue to grow stronger, regardless of external pressures. On 21st September, the exhibition Major Deity Mariam from Anahit International Exhibition will open in the Museum of the History of Armenia, where the head and hand of the bronze statue of the goddess Anahit of the 2nd and 1st century was brought from the British Museum to Yerevan on temporary display for six months. The exhibition was organized with the support of the Ministry of Education and Culture of the Republic of Armenia, the British Museum, the British Embassy in the Republic of Armenia and other structures. Minister of Education and Culture of the Republic of Armenia, Jean Andreasian, emphasized that this is a unique opportunity for Armenia in terms of making the exhibits of the British Museum accessible to the public as well as organizing an international level exhibition. The main subject of the exhibition is the role of motherhood and women in history. Within the framework of the event, valuable samples from the archives of the History Museum of Armenia will also be presented. British Ambassador John Gallaher noted that the exhibition is of great importance for the Armenian people and highlighted the cooperation between the British and Armenian History Museums. A conference, the Genocide Committee Against Armenians, will be held in Yerevan on 1921 September, Reflections of the Past and the Present, dedicated to Franz Verfall's novel, The Forty Days of Musadag. Hovik Avanes, a member of the organizing committee of the conference, noted that in the background of new manifestations of genocide, especially the occupation of Artsakh, the holding of such conferences has become more relevant. Experts will discuss the importance of genocide prevention and punishment, the dangers of impunity, as well as the trends of modern genocidal literature. Special attention will be paid to the genocidal policy implemented by Azerbaijan towards Artsakh. The conference is also a platform for sharing the experience of scientists and in conducting joint research. The institute called Promise of Armenian Studies at the University of California, Los Angeles, is pleased to announce the second annual CARE Family Lecture. The lecture entitled The Limit of Our Endurance, 
Reverend Hovannes Eskijan and his resistance network during the genocide against Armenians will be presented by Dr. Hachik Muradjan of Columbia University and the U.S. Library of Congress. Dr. Andranik Dakestian of Haikazian University will deliver the opening speech. The lecture will reveal the role of Hovannes Yekijan and his associates in the secret resistance network that operated during the genocide against the Armenians, struggling against the annihilation of the people. Collecting hundreds of stories, official documents, and missionary materials, including the family archives of Eskijan and his colleagues, Muradian will present the social history of genocide and resistance in Ottoman Syria as well. In the church, St. Mary Magdalene in Brussels opened its doors on 14 September for a musical evening of remembrance and hope dedicated to Artsakh and Armenians of Artsakh. According to the correspondent of Armen Press in Brussels, the leader of the Artsakh Diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church, Vartanes Bishop Abrahamian, was present in the evening. In his address to the audience, the leader of the diocese mentioned that the populated Artsakh is also a threatened thousand-year-old heritage with 5,000 historical and cultural monuments. Today we have to record with pain that Artsakh is depopulated. Our historical monuments are endangered. We have always said that Christianity in the South Caucasus begins and ends with Armenia and Artsakh. The people of Artsakh have left a great legacy of millennia. According to our information, less than a year after the depopulation, Azerbaijan destroyed more than 10% of those quarters. Today, no one, including international organizations, has the opportunity to visit and see the situation on the spot. Another important value of this geopolitical area is the people of Artsakh. They left their homeland and today live in Armenia and abroad. The people of Artsakh are the bearers of a thousand-year-old culture, dialect, and tradition, which are endangered today because the people of Artsakh don't have the opportunity to live together comprehensively. The people of Artsakh want to return to their native land only and only on the condition that they are not under the control of Azerbaijan and have international security guarantees. Our people were displaced and genocided, and they have every right to return, said Vartanes Abrahamian. The speech of the head of the diocese was followed by a musical evening with the participation of pianist Lauren Anahit Mahitarian, opera singer Maria Abayan, chamber and duduk player Vartan Hovanisian. Representatives of the Belgian Armenian community, Belgian politicians and public figures were present at the evening too. The evening took place with the joint efforts of the MUNK Initiative of Germany, the European Armenian Office, the General Benevolent Union of Armenian, the Belgian Diocese of Armenian Apostolic Church and a number of other organizations. Within the framework of the new 2024 up to 25 theater se season of theater and concert organizations, the 8th International Music Festival Armenia started today, which also announced the opening of the 9th concert season of the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra. The concert was attended by Jana Andrea San, the Minister of Education, Sports and Culture of Armenia, the head of the AU delegation to Armenia, Ambassador Vasilis Maragos, and Daniel Danielian, high ranking official ambassadors accredited to Armenia, members of the delegation of the organizing committee of the Francophone Games that arrived in Armenia. This festival, which continues until October 28, brings together cl classical music lovers for the eighth time presenting a musical holiday to Armenian audience. This was all for today. Goodbye.